We got the phone, guys. I also got a few other red goodies, too. This is not a part of that, and this isn't either. This is one of my favorite vlogging tripods. It's incredible. Not a part of this unboxing. So things we're gonna be checking out today, we've got the red Apple Watch band. We've got a white case because I kind of feel like this is gonna look a lot better than any of the other colored cases on the red iPhone. Basically, it's gonna cover up the red. I tweeted something the other day. If you buy a red iPhone and then you put a case on it, will anybody know that you actually have a red iPhone? The new berry colored leather case and just the basic red case that they've had for quite a while. And of course, the star of the show, the new red iPhone. One of the things that I'm already a big fan of is the silver logo. I don't even need scissors because they've got a nice little pull tab here for us. So I did get the 256. I'm not 100% sure if this is going to be the new phone that I keep because I really do absolutely love my jet black phone. The more that I look at it, the more that I am really, really into it. I also got the unlocked version. Most of the other phones that I had previously got were tied to a carrier and this is unlocked. And when I travel abroad, the best thing ever is being able to get a T-Mobile SIM card and you'll be able to actually have data and not worry about any overages. Look at this red. I mean, this is super red. I am shocked, actually, at how red it is. I mean, this is, this is red. Oh, I know what you're saying. Yeah, no kidding, Justine, it's red. But to look at this this close up and actually see the true color, super red. I don't know what to do. What do you guys think? Do you think I should keep this phone or should I stick with my jet black phone? You guys have never taken a YouTube poll before. I've actually never used it before, but I'm gonna put one right now on this video so an annotation will pop up and you guys can decide, do I keep the phone or do I not keep the phone? As with all iPhones, they come with a USB charging brick, you've got your ear pods and you've got your lightning cable. And of course, the infamous dongle. First up, the red iPhone case. This is not the new one that just came out. This is the old version. I've actually really wanted a red case for quite a while because I thought that it would look incredible on the black phone, which it does. I've seen other people with it and mm, it looks good. And I love this color of red. This is definitely more of a berry, which I feel like this case will match a little bit better. This is the berry leather iPhone case. Here you guys can see the difference of the colors of red. I mean, this is a much brighter red. This is more Nintendo Switch red, whereas this is, I don't know, I guess berry really is the only other kind of color I can think of, a more strawberry-ish color, unless you have some strawberries that are full of GMOs, then this is definitely what you're gonna be getting. I'm not sure if you're actually gonna be able to tell if there's a difference, but again, this is a much brighter color this is a little bit more of a darker hue. If you don't wanna buy an entirely new phone, here's what you do. You buy a case. For the longest time, I had a white case on my black phone and I thought it looked really, really good. So, wow, oh my goodness. I, this is gonna drive me crazy. Like, that looks awful. I don't like this look at all. It's essentially like a mistake. Like, that's that does not look good. Look at the front, cool. What's this? It's like I spilled a little tiny bit of my jello or my cherry pudding or some nail polish on my phone and this doesn't look like it should be a thing. Let's open up the berry case. This could be the answer. But still, the colors are off. And if you're somebody that pays a lot of attention to detail and small little design things drive you absolutely crazy, I don't know if there's a good answer for you. I'm not sure what to say. So this is the leather case and this is the silicone case. And you can definitely tell, hopefully, that this is much brighter than this one. Most of the people who saw that the red iPhone was announced was basically saying, well, why didn't they make it an all black front? I mean, this looks really good. Red, black, red, white. There's just something about having a completely flushed screen, all black, that looks really, really good. And speaking of mismatching, this black and red like that, uh-uh. I'm unsure of what color combination that you guys would want to do with the red phone because none of these cases 
are aesthetically pleasing. Moving on to the red Apple Watch band. This is actually something that I've wanted to get for quite a while. I have the white ceramic phone. <laughs> Hello. A lot of you guys always wonder why I wear my Apple Watch on the wrong hand. And if you're left-handed, this isn't the wrong hand. This is the right hand. And technically, it is the right hand. Now this looks good. So if I was able to do this and rock this with no case on, man, yeah, this looks great. So now I've got a few questions for you guys. Number one, I already asked, do I keep the phone? Do I switch from the jet black to the red? And which case combination did you guys like the best? Did you like the black with the red, the white with the red, the red with the red, or the leather berry with the red? My favorite phone color combination. The black with the black definitely makes everything super seamless. I also like the white with the black because when I do wear my Apple Watch with the ceramic, it matches. I mean, these are all stupid, insignificant details that probably nobody else in their right mind would know but you or me. And for the red iPhone, let's just say this Mophie case looks incredible. Look at this, that actually matches almost perfectly. Okay, well now that I look at it through the camera, it's a little bit off. But still, you guys get the point. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. And make sure you guys answer those questions in the comments below and I will see you later, probably tomorrow. Oh, and did I mention that I was first in line for the iPhone, the red iPhone? Because there was nobody else there at 8 a.m. today. Because that's crazy, why would somebody do that? A red iPhone? <laughs> what? Man, are you excited about this? This is big news, big news. Yeah. So the red iPhone has actually been rumored for quite a while and I don't know if anybody really thought if it was ever actually gonna happen because that's what happens with rumors. But it's here. Yesterday it was